Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day 14 of our favorite rock guitar teams of all time. 31 days in October. We're giving you 31 of our favorite guitar teams ever. Hard rock, classic rock, pop, heavy metal, all forms of metal, prog rock. doesn't really matter. It's within the rock framework, rock metal. Uh, our favorite guitar teams could be two people, could be three people. Two lead guitar players, a great lead guitar player, and a great rhythm player, whatever the combination might be. Uh, and we're all doing this together, right? I'm giving you my fav my 31 favorites. You're also doing the same in the comments below. So today, uh, a very cool duo who started working together in uh, 1976, I believe it was. Yes, 1976. They still work together in this band today. Uh, the great U.S. band called Sticks. The team is James J.Y. Young and Tommy Shaw. First album <clears throat> that they appeared on together was the great Crystal Ball album. This is a, uh, a fascinating team. It, it seems like a lot of the ones that I have been picking, uh, you get like two players who have very distinct styles and are very different from each other. Both these guys are really good lead players, but they couldn't be more different. Uh, you had Tommy Shaw, who is a more of a bluesier lead player, I would say. He does a lot of great rock stuff, too, but he's got a little more of a bluesy feel. He's not a the technician that J.Y. is, although Tommy can play with some of the best of them. Tommy also is a fantastic acoustic guitar player, great 12-string player, uh, crafts lots of good riffs. And more, his solos are more uh, the, the, the slower solos. He uses uh, some wah-wah on occasion. He uses just some a little bit of whammy bar stuff. That, that's more, it's more a JY thing. Uh, but his solos tend to be a little bit bluesier, uh, not quite as ferocious. And then you got JY, on the other hand, who is a complete rock monster. JY's solos are fairly blazing. Uh, he generally plays a Stratocaster. Tommy will play, um, you know, Les Paul. Tommy's played some Strats. Uh, you know, he's played different guitars, lots of different guitars during his time in Sticks. Uh, but JY, for the most part, likes Strats or Strat type guitars uh, with really hot humbucking pickups. Does a lot of whammy bar stuff. JY is the guy with the big, huge, monstrous tone. Definitely more of a technical player than Tommy. Uh, utilizes whammy bar, does some wild on occasion, some effects, but not really. He's more of a straight, kind of into the amp kind of guy. Uh, like I said, really, really ferocious tone. So, uh, yeah, they, they started working together on Crystal Ball. Fantastic album. You know, got Mademoiselle on here. The title track, Crystal Ball, great. You know, This Old Man, Claire de Lune Ballerina. But, you know, it really all came together on The Grand Illusion. I mean, how about that great guitar solo on from Tommy on the title track, The Grand Illusion? You got Tommy's great, uh, you know, twelve-string guitar on "Fooling Yourself." Come sail away. Of course, Miss America, the snarling Miss America. Miss America, you know, in the kind of uh, all the albums since Tommy has joined the band, uh, JY does maybe one usually one maybe two vocal tracks on the album and usually the jy tracks are the big ferocious hard rockers uh whereas early in their career prior to tommy joining the band uh jy and dennis de young pretty much shared lead vocals you had a lot of lead vocals from jy the miss america what a great riff on that snarling heavy riff great soloing on that you got man in the wilderness castle walls grand finale just fantastic stuff um I mean, this probably, I think, you could arguably say that this is the better guitar album and the best guitar album from these two guys. Uh, you got the big heavy rocker, Great White Hope, but J.Y. singing that. You got I'm OK, Sing for the Day. It's an, another kind of lush kind of uh, pop-inflected song from Tommy. You got Lords of the Ring. <clears throat> Again, you've got uh, J.Y. on lead vocals on that. Good rocker. Blue Collar Man killer killer hard rocking song but and again these guys are firing off these riffs 
great solo and just excellent queen of spades dennis sings that one but that's a snarling snarling heavy rocker you got some just pulverizing riffs on that uh, some great jy solo and renegade of course is is all tommy killer killer hard rock song title track you know you got lights on cornerstone you know, this album is a little bit lighter than pieces of eight but still some, some great stuff on here and then of course uh you know you got paradise theater how about Snowblind, right? Another crazy, heavy track from JY. Great stuff on there. Rock in the Paradise features some great guitar work. Um, Too Much Time on My Hands, signature Tommy Shaw track. It's... It, to me, it's really refreshing. I, that's one of, the, one of the things I love about Sticks. And, and again, I've, I've talked about this, about numerous bands that I listen to a lot. When you have multiple singers in a band, and in this case, you know, two guitar players who have very, very different styles... That adds so much variety, and you just you're never sure what to expect from track to track. So here you got you know Dennis and Tommy and JY all singing lead vocals. You got these two very very distinct guitar players. You've got the great keyboard virtuoso and Dennis DeYoung, the great rhythm section with the Pinozo Brothers. I mean, just uh, fantastic stuff here from this band, and I always really really loved uh, the guitar combo of these two guys and. For the most part, other than, you know, obviously the very, very early albums and the one album in the 90s, J.Y. and Tommy have worked together nonstop pretty much since Crystal Wall, right? Because, of course, you know, Tommy went off to uh, Damn Yankees for a few years. He also uh, left and had a solo career in the 80s when Sticks really wasn't doing much of anything. But for the most part, other than one album, one Sticks album in the 90s, uh, since Crystal Ball, these two guys have worked together uh, for all those years. And they, they're a great, great guitar team. Uh, one of the best. So uh, that's my pick for today. Tommy Shaw and James J.Y. Young from Styx. Let us know what you think of these two dudes down in the comments below, as well as your pick for day 14. Stay tuned for day 15 tomorrow. I'll have another tandem for you, another two or three guitar team. Uh, I've got them all lined up for the rest of the month, so uh, we'll keep coming at you. We'll keep coming at you. So visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content. As a post, please also uh, click that like button before you leave us here today. And if you do want to make a channel donation, we've got the links below to our Ko-Fi page and we also have the link to our merch page where you can get all sorts of cool Sea Tranquility shirts. We do have a new design, the very cool serpent design. So go check that out. See if you like that. Very colorful, very cool looking. So uh, hopefully we'll see some of you guys wearing those out and about uh, in the weeks and months ahead. So uh, again, Thanks for watching. I am P. Pardo. We'll see you tomorrow morning with another episode of our favorite guitar teams. And stay tuned in for just a little bit. We've got, of course, Martin Popoff and myself at the Funhouse here for you this Friday. So till then, see you soon. I am P. Pardo. Take care. Bye-bye.